absolutely hate it when I don't have anything spicy to say about an online store. Like, <laughs> why did I even buy clothes from them? So a couple of weeks ago, I decided to spend my coins on Wholesale 7, which is a Chinese website that sells like super cheap items, like cheap. When I say cheap, I get excited because it's really cheap. But I'm always skeptical and I went online and I read the reviews, guys. They were not good. So what did your girl do? I decided, you know what, let me let me spend my coin because I want to know because I'm all for cheap items and I don't want the good stuff to miss me because <laughs> I also want to plug you guys. I didn't buy a lot of items because I wasn't sure if these guys were going to deliver and like I'm always skeptical when I'm buying from Chinese websites because the first time when you're buying, you are testing out, like you're testing out to see how deep the waters are. So I only bought like three pairs of shoes and only because I was also looking for shoes and one dress if you came to this video looking for some tea or something spicy I, I was also quite equally disappointed because I wanted spice but there is no spice guys <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you tea is not going to be served in this video but I'm just going to take you guys through my process and how I ordered the items how much customs I paid how disappointed if I was disappointed and show you guys at items that I actually bought so here is what I ordered I'm just gonna be looking down on my phone so that I can tell you guys exactly in correct detail what I ordered. I ordered four items and of those four items, three were shoes. Of the four items, I paid in total 814 Rand 30 cents. And the shipping fee, here comes the catch. Like, I was just like, really are you guys for real? The shipping fee that states that it takes seven to 14 days was 564 rand 96 get out of here Get out of here, man. Total, the amount I paid was 1,317 Rand 66 cents. I got a discount coupon code though. I keep looking down on my phone because that's where the details are, which was $4 off for a new customer. Like I registered on their website and I got $4 off, which in Rand was 62 Rand 22. So I got that off when I was checking out. So that's why it ended up coming to 1,317.60. I I won't lie like the, their shipping is quite ridiculous i would say if you want to buy from them rather buy a lot of items so that you can save up on on shipping because you will pay a lot for shipping and i haven't even started when it comes to customs because <laughs> i also paid for customs guys anyway that was how much i paid i placed my order on the 21st of september the record was created on the 21st as well for my order left on the 22nd like in fact when i ordered my stuff i got a message on my account that the order had been received which i love because it shows that they sort of like care for their customers because i just don't want my money to be taken and then i don't get any confirmation whether my stuff my order has been received or not so on the 24th my order departed china but i was on holiday that time and i wasn't like paying attention to those things i was like focusing on my man <laughs> i only checked my order when i came back to johannesburg which was on the 26th arrived on the 26th that's when it arrived on the 26th but i didn't check for it i only checked for it on the 27th and then now came the most annoying part what does Aramex do because these guys I don't know which shipping company they use from China to South Africa but whatever shipping company they use uh, also uses Aramex to deliver the items right to your door so what does Aramex do when my items arrive they send me an email and they said ah oh, one guy please sign this indemnity form because I've already spoken with them before and I told them I don't didn't have an importer squad so 
I have to provide them with my ID and all that. So they say to me, sign this indemnity. And then I signed this indemnity and I sent it back to them. They didn't say anything. So now the worst part was for me to follow, follow up with them. This is the 27th. The 27th, nothing happened. The 28th, nothing happened came to the weekend so you know if we come into the weekend no parcels are going to be delivered so saturday sunday monday i followed up with them in fact i ended up having to pay another extra 432 rand for customs why i've been bringing a lot of items and they know guys they know like it's it's more than 12 times 10 times that i've brought items this year alone so if you have brought items more than 10 times already in this year even if the value is less than 500 you are going to pay for customs whether you like it or not that's just the truth so there's no way for you to bypass customs but if you haven't brought anything from china in the past year for less than 10 times you're not going to pay for customs in to cut the long story short i only ended up receiving my parcel like yesterday yesterday which was the second of october as i'm filming this so that is my story with regards to uh purchasing from wholesale seven will i buy again from them definitely i would say if you want to buy from them be it for business be it for personal use i would say buy a lot of items so that um the shipping price is not as hefty it would rather make sense for you to pay that amount for a lot of items like 10 or 15 more items than to pay that much for for just four items so let me just show you guys the items that i got just to let you know everything is impeccable quality is on steroids my shoes are super comfortable Taking over